Masombo, KTN News. Tonight, Kirinyaga Governor Anne Mumbi Kamovo is in a celebratory mood. The Supreme Court dismissed a petition by NAC Kenya Party leader Martha Karua challenging the governor's election into office. Supreme Court Judge Isaac Lenaola ruled that the proceedings before the High Court were a nullity. Karua says she did not get justice. KTN's Rita Tinin and our reports. The petition of appeal dated the 25th of January 29 is hereby dismissed. A win for Anne Mumbi. The first to congratulate her, her husband, who is her lawyer, Kamodo Waiganjo. Outside the Supreme Court, <laughs> supporters of the Kirinyaga governor celebrate her win. After close to two years of a court battle in which NAC Kenya leader Martha Karua challenged her election as Kirinyaga governor on grounds that it was not free and fair. Her petition was dismissed twice by the High Court. The Court of Appeal gave the same verdict. Now the highest court in the land has dashed Karua's final hopes. Our view therefore is, sadly, the proceedings before the High Court were a nullity and as such we have no jurisdiction to determine any other issue. The ruling on grounds that the election petition was determined by the High Court after the 60 days within which a case should be heard and determined had lapsed. The Supreme Court is faulting the Court of Appeal. Because in the first appeal, the Court of Appeal knew very well that the time frame under Article 105 had been exhausted. Yet they referred the parties back to the High Court, well knowing that there was no possibility, humanly possible, for the matter to be determined at the High Court within the remaining period. Martha Karua responded to the ruling through her Twitter handle saying, I did not get justice at the court, but a luta continua. The journey to success is long and winding. For Kirinyaga Governor Anne Mombi, We have won and um, we said from the very beginning we won this election fairly and squarely. Um, the people of Kirinyaga put their trust in us. Uh, that has not changed. The governor had a word for her opponent, Martha Karua. And I hope that she'll be able to put this matter to rest and allow the Kirinyaga people to have the choice of leaders that they chose themselves. And um, 2022, Akiona Nataka Kiti to Kutane Kwawanja. The Supreme Court ordered all parties to bear their own costs. <laughs>